My name is Peter Adams. I work with Morrison Hirschfield in, here in the Toronto office. I'm Ted Kessick and uh, I'm a professor of building science at the Daniel School at the University of Toronto. My name is Keith Robinson. I work for Dialogue, a firm of architects, engineers, interior designers and urban planners and I am their chief specifications writer. My name is John Straub and I'm uh, with the University of Waterloo School of Architecture, Department of Civil Engineering and also a principal at Building Science Consulting. Certainly the thermal bridging work we're doing within our Vancouver office uh, has been well recognized in North America, some, some of the more advanced work that's being done in building envelope technology. Um, so I think that's certainly making a big contribution. We're starting to see recognition of some of the, the building codes uh, in the U.S. and in Canada where some of this information is being adopted. I, I think the, the, the whole idea of talking about whole building system performance is really starting to change people's views on what's important and what's not. My dedication to research, we have a company that actually sees value in specifications. We actually hire a, the highest proportion of all available specifications writers in Canada. We actually employ 20%. Um, and the actual managing partner of the company is a registered specifications writer, so he knows the value of a good spec. I suppose the most important part of the work is doing presentations, uh, talking to industry, getting students excited that this is a real career option for them. So it's just the communication side, the education side. I think my biggest frustration is the uh, constant pressure there is for reducing reduction of fees. The Toronto market's very highly competitive for building envelopes, uh, building science. Um, and it's, it's often difficult to get the fees that really, I think, that people deserve, not just building science, but architects as well. Uh, so there's a huge downward pressure, which is, I find it frustrating. It's hard, to, it's hard to expect greatness out of low-cost materials, low-cost construction, and low-cost design. I don't think that uh, we spend enough money on design and design fees, and so what's happening is, is that people are reaching for very convenient solutions, they're sort of canned solutions, and uh, it's a, almost cookie cutter in some cases, and you know, for the amount of money that's being spent on buildings, we probably should do a little more uh, original investigation, I think, and, and we don't. So that, that, that's really the, the sad thing, is that compared to Europe, we spend about half as much on design as, as, as they do, and I think the results show. A failure to read the spec, quite frankly, yeah, or misinterpretation to other ends. You know, somebody who hasn't read the whole thing for its entire intent and is just picking on a single word or two. Gosh, uh, you know, there's a fair number of frustrations in the industry, but I, I suppose a, a lack of idealism, a lack of vision, uh, it frustrates me is that just to accept what is as opposed to trying harder to do better, to do more, to think of what, what could be, not just what is.